Hey everybody, welcome back to RC World and today I got a, another good video for you guys. I know it's been a while, actually been a couple of months. So I know it's been a while and I haven't done a video but I'm deciding to restoring video on my Red Cat Tornado. I can't turn the box but here he is right here. And he has been just pummeled over the years. He's about about four years old-ish. His body is shattered, his, his, he needs new components, he needs to be cleaned, washed down, wiped reconnected overall clean and he doesn't even really work i gotta get him back in working condition and uh i want to bring you guys along for the ride so uh all right let's get started All right, now everyone, now don't mind my janky heater that you can hear in the back. It's a little obnoxious, but it's freezing out here, so I got like three heaters in here. Still not warm enough. Wow, there he is. Well, he's not too bad. I probably did recently try to clean him, but got nowhere. Well, this controller's actually in here. I actually put his controller in there. I really did, oh yeah, I did pack him away pretty good. Okay, it's actually getting a little more warmer here. All right, looks like I, wow, he's got a lot. So here he is. I mean, he is such a great car. I can tell you that right now. Looks like he's got almost all of his pins except for one pin. We're missing. That's all right. I got a couple extras. There's my rags. This controller's in here. I'm gonna take a look at that afterwards. Oh wow, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now he's never really gonna look new again unless you get the special type of plastic. Uh, it's like a plasticky type of stuff that'll fix it and make it look clean. And he looks pretty good. 33 KV, okay, so KV 3300 motor, brushless. This is the problem, the 2.4 gigahertz ESC. He's the problem one, it's dead, sort of. Um, the reason why it's dead is that it almost ran away from me and it looks like the, anten the antenna is breaking off as well. But it's dying and it's pretty much dead, which is not good. Servo is dying, but that'll have to, I don't have an extra servo. I believe I have a new one of these from a old gasser, which is, if you see my intro videos, you see that uh, Vortex, that gasser. Um, yeah, he, uh, that thing died. <laughs> a horrible death. Um, it just uh, stopped working, and I'm gonna use 2.4 gigahertz thing from that and uh, see where we can go from there. You know, he's really not too bad. I mean, he's not bad as I thought he was. Bad thing is, I could not locate the newer version of this one in my supplies and stuff. I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. And sadly, I'm gonna have to leave that one on there. It does still work, but I think my the fatal flaw was that the antenna is breaking off, and that could be the problem point that, I mean, that could be the problem. I mean, so I'm going to start getting to disassemble this. And, of course, there's different sizes of screws, so I have to make sure that I do all of that correctly. I also, one place I didn't check for that ES, well, 2.4 gigger connection thing, it's actually in here, and I, seeing it,
Okay, so so far, I got the whole motor out. Here it is, KV33, or 3300. I'm taking the wheels off and I'm taking little pieces out, then I'm gonna power hose them off. Well, first I'm gonna take a, a brush and scrape every little crevice in there first, and then I'm gonna power wash it. Then I'm gonna let it completely dry. Then I'm gonna uh, air dry it, or uh, air can it. Like I said, I, when I meant stripping down to the bare bottom, man, I really am. I am taking every little piece off of them. To get as much cleaning as possible. I mean, it doesn't matter if it gets dirty again, that's different. That's like, you know, that's, yeah. Okay, so I think I've done pretty good on this part. Uh, I'm gonna try to power wash it with the hose. And then a couple other parts, like the shocks, I'm probably gonna disassemble and put it in a hot bucket of water. Same with these right here, and hot soapy water, and then I'm gonna wash them off, and then I'm gonna air dry them with like a heater or a fan, most likely a fan, and then also make sure that they're in the sunlight too. And uh, that's just that's only the couple stages. I bent back the bars on here because from driving so much, he literally hitting bumps, the bars start to move this way, so does this, which is incredible, but also not too good. All right, so I'm gonna go power wash this right now. Okay, everyone, I'm gonna stripping his shocks off and putting them in uh, a warm bucket of water over here, more like a hot bucket of water with soap. I'm gonna let it simmer in there for a little bit. Well, that's uh, drying out there and everything. Oh, my next thing that must be done is cleaning out this fan unit. So, you can see, it's pretty dirty up in there. You can see all the hair sticking out of it. Now, I hope I caught all that footage just now. I was, I don't know what my stupid phone was doing, but I was cleaning, if you guys didn't see, I was cleaning out all this right here just cleaning in and everywhere here with water and using my air can and I doing that and stuff and taking a fan out and cleaning and it, I don't know if I caught that. And toothbrush inside here because all there was a bunch of debris in here and I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm sorry, my phone was being stupid. I also cleaned off the servo and I'm doing the motor right now. I'm sorry if you guys didn't see that part. And, I know, and this is the main part that died. I'm gonna have to repair it probably until I can find my other one that I have. Until I can find my other one, I'm gonna have to use this same one. So I can't drive too far away because it tends to start to lose signal. Oops, it fell. Ah, oh, shoot, my thing fell in there. That's all right, I'll get it. I'm gonna give it a good clean down too. I'm probably gonna open it up and uh, take a look at it inside and see how bad it really is. All right, now I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna stick the wheels in there in the soap and water. The wheels are pretty good. These are not the original stock tire wheels. They're uh, different types that I've added on and they actually uh, don't rub down as fast. But now they're really starting to rub down now, of course, because they're getting old and they've had, these, these wheels have been on them for a long time, which is uh, really awesome. Got, new tires are gonna be needed at some point, probably during the summertime. Don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna make these last as long as I possibly can until I have to purchase new ones. All right, so these wheels are gonna go in here next afterwards. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe them off, then I'm gonna power up, power wash them off. So 
now while all that stuff is drying out there, I'm going to start assembling the blower housing or the cooling fan housing, whatever you want to call it there. I'm going to start to assemble it back together. It's very difficult to get back on. Looks like that went easy, easy on that time. Allows more airflow for better driving performance. Now we're going to start reassembling this thing back together. This car back together. Everything looks really good, actually. I'll make some room here. Everything is looking really good. I mean, yeah, he still looks a little dirty. There's nothing I can really do about that. I gotta fix or get this uh, busted bearing out of here. You guys can't see real well. I'm sorry you guys are far away. I just gotta get this busted bearing out of here with a wrench that I don't have, of course. Because you know, why would I have a wrench around? All right, everybody, it is finally, we are finally complete. I know that this uh, ESC or uh, transmitter is still bad, but you know, I, I just, don't, just don't drive far and I don't drive that far usually. But uh, other than that, it is working. I mean, I mean, I haven't even turned it on yet actually, but um, I, I, I think I'm ready. I think we're ready to I think we're ready to go drive. All right, let's go do this. you guys he is working so much better than he used to I haven't had any problems with the transmitter yet inside of him but he is working just so good you guys and this is a 5,000 mh battery and this thing has got some speed in it, I can tell you that so guys he is working so much better I want to thank y'all I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I am so happy to get Tornado working again. And one other thing that I forgot to tell you guys, I did put a new interlock uh, bolt that goes between his axle because the, that that size version uh, was did not fit in the Traxxas, so I had to use Tornado, Tornado's, in, Tornado's interlock axle in the Traxxas. But the Traxxas interlock axle uh, bolt fit in him, so it kind of works out. So now he is complete four-wheel drive as well. But again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.